Hey guys, welcome back to another video and we are once more in the forest to have a look at the rope swing trap. It's the second trap video that I've done. Previously I looked at the log fall trap and today it's the rope swing. You can see here it's a large lump of stones with a rope and some logs. I think it's six logs, one rope and ten stone and it's got this trip wire attached to a stick you've got to hope the enemies run over that and you've got to try and lure them onto it you see there he tripped one and it didn't hit him and he's standing there now i've got a whole range of them scattered across this arena which i call my rope swing death arena and i'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this particular trap and see what effect it has on the cannibals and some of the mutants. Now, I lured him into that trap. And you can see, actually, if they take two hits or they're quite damaged, their bodies will be obliterated by this menacing-looking trap. It really does look particularly grim. Imagine being hit by that. In fact, you can take one hit from this particular trap and not die very much like actually the other traps and um, you can see here you have to reset it using one stick and it resets the trip wire there with the rope you don't have to keep reusing rope or anything like that. it's just stick and you can see once you've made it all this spike suddenly appear out of the collection of stone at the top there here we go again Lovely action now. I love the way he put his hand out to try and block it almost. Now, I'm going to slow mo some of these so we can clearly see what's going on. I'm running around trying to avoid being taken down. Now, I've got a group of cannibals coming in. Will this be an effective arena to try and take them down? Now, you can only build these traps on certain trees, the bigger trees. In fact, the trees that the cannibals sometimes climb up the smaller trees they're not strong enough to take it so you have to take these out and I have in this area here cleared out quite a few trees and bushes so you can see what's going on right here he comes always picking up resources as I go around in case I need them now they're just over there so what am I going to do how is this going to work can we have an arena like this be an effective deterrent for taking on these cannibals. Is it worth having them? You can see they're climbing the trees here. Right, he set a trap off there. It didn't hit him. If they're running at speed and the angle isn't right, these traps will miss. There's no doubt about it. In the background there you can see a cannibal walking slowly. He triggers a trap and it knocks him down. She trips one there, it doesn't hit her. She runs off at speed. I'm trying to avoid being attacked by the cannibals. More traps are swinging but they don't seem to be doing much good in this arena, in this setup. Okay, here we go again. Now if I can lure them onto the traps, does it work? Does it always work? Look, she just runs around the tree. I don't know if it's a preset, they run around that side of the tree or they just purposely avoid the trap. And in this situation, he just runs straight over it and doesn't trigger it. And even if he had, I think he probably would have avoided it. Okay, I've got a guy coming on, uh, on the left, and then the the woman down below. It's, it's very tricky to try and take bring them on. And then he uh, over the bat there, he sets one trap off, and then another. They both miss. I've got to reset these traps, don't forget. She's running in. Now, you can take damage by 
being hit after the trap has been set. If it's swinging gently like that, it will actually do damage. You see that? It hit, and then she runs off and triggers another trap. It swings down, and because she's already damaged, her body is obliterated and explodes. All the flesh and limbs going everywhere. There she is. And you can't obviously savage her limbs if you're making effigies. So that's a bit of a pain. In the background on the right, you can see here a guy just walks into a trap over that way. That is one good thing about having this kind of arena. If they're strolling around, they can trigger the traps. And reset that trap there. And I just avoid being hit myself. See? It's quite dangerous. Now, how about against the mutants? This is the cow man. Here he goes. And in fact, I miss him getting hit there, but he's been struck once by the rope swing trap there. I take his skin for armor. I'd already hit him once or twice with the arrows. Not very effective. Now, this is the real test. This is what I call the Rhino Mutant. And you can see the impact zone there. When he hits that, he's actually struck by it. But he destroys the trap. The second trap is triggered. And it doesn't hit him, I don't think. He's stationary. But you can see when the trap's destroyed, the tree is reverted back to its original state. In a, in a second, this guy has taken out two of my traps with this area of damage that he causes. And so a duel begins between this ugly guy and myself. And he triggers another trap there and it just flies past him. He's going so fast it misses him. And now this that trap is swinging. He careers into it, destroys it, rocks fly everywhere. I'm thinking, no way am I going to survive this. He doesn't seem to be hardly damaged at all by this. He's been hit um, maybe two or three times. I trigger a trap and just avoid it. The angles at which this the rhino can move, it's just amazing. And I accidentally run into the... The ball of rock there, that swinging ball of rock, takes some damage. How, how how am I still alive? I don't know. I'm setting traps as I go. He hits me again. I've taken some medicine. I'm nearly down and grab some more there. Who's going to win this battle? He's looking a bit bloody now. And he, <laughs> even though I'm standing behind that tree, he manages to catch me and do some damage. It's absolutely crazy. Where is he? More meds. He's coming around that way. Triggers a trap. It doesn't get him. He catches me. I'm thinking this is it. I've had it. I run up here. Let's try and use this rock for cover. Now, he's lined up with some traps now. He hits a trap. If totally destroyed. All the rocks fly everywhere. And you can see that his body has exploded with the impact. So, I mean, I'm looking at maybe three or four strikes plus a couple of arrows. They are pretty tough. And you can see there's the mist where his body exploded. The red mist. And his limbs are lying all over the place. So, how can we evaluate the effectiveness of this rope swing trap? Well, in this type of arena, I just don't think it's very effective. It's very difficult to lure them onto the trip wires. And you've got to constantly go around and reset it. And it's very dangerous for, your, for yourself to be running around all these traps. You trigger them and nearly get hit. Also, the spacing is sort of random. It depends on where the trees are. And some of the trees, as I said before, don't take the traps. No, for me, this, this doesn't really work. Now, it was a lot of fun running around fighting these creatures in this arena. 
But what I would advise is, and it's something maybe that I'll try. And well, I've used before, so I know it works. But I might try and set one up so we can have a look at it. Is creating corridors that the mutants and cannibals are funneled into that line up with the trees. So when the ball swings, it swings down the corridor and hits anybody coming within that space where they've been funneled into. So guys, hope you found this video useful, interesting, fun. If you've got the old heart pumping, click that thumbs up. And if you haven't subbed already, don't forget to sub. That would be absolutely awesome, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.